mean, if you're playing towards counterpick strengths, there you go. Yeah. No, like, uh, I feel like I'm trying to be ahead of this game where, like, you can't just pick one character all the time because some of the matchups are just really, yeah. really hard. And if you have the ability to just pick whoever you want, like, there's no reason to just sit on your, be like, well, I lost the honest way. Like, I got lamed out by, like, some full range character and I have no ability to win. Like, that's basically this fight in a nutshell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you should totally learn a counter character for this. Uh, I did. I learned Sagat. Even though I didn't win recently, but for this. But, Guy Stan Roundhouse is better now. Oh, you're right. Uh, and so, I mean, we'll see how it plays out. I don't know how good that normal is going to play. It looks like he's using it a little bit more instead of Stan Fierce. Yeah, we, we talked about it, actually. I was like, I was telling him, do you want to run this in training mode so we can see like what it would be like to just try to play footsies with Roundhouse in play? And uh, we didn't get a chance to do it, but it looks really hard to whiff punish. It's, I'm pretty sure it's faster now. It's faster, yeah. It looks it looks different. And the, the hitbox is better on it. The hurtbox is better on it. It's more pulled back, I believe. Yeah, you can, you can see it. it. You can basically almost visually see that it's way better. Nice whiff punishing. I mean, as if Geef is still winning this just because it's Geef and he does more damage in this yeah. mid-range. He literally just needs to, Oh, man. Oh, oh my that. god. And he's got to win this round right now. Nice tech. Yeah. When, when these situations happen, SF Geef is literally the kind of person who's going to say, I just need to hit one steady medium punch. And I don't care if it trades. I don't, I don't care what happens. Medium punch. Oh, gets the hit. Set up. Should have delayed, delayed get up and then back dash. Yeah, yeah. Use all the tools. See how, oh. see how not negative that is? That used to be really negative. It's negative five, right? Yeah, but that's It was always negative five, I thought. But it's not that bad. Because he's using it all the time because he can get hit normally. Yeah. So you would never see him even try to do it randomly. So he messed up, but it's like... If he hit, he would have been even happier. I, I never have seen jab dash uh, jab uh, green hand from Geef this often ever. Yeah, right. That and if it's on block, you really just kind of have to mash throw. On block, it was negative five. By yeah, the way, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in in 2012, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, is it negative five now? I'm probably. I'd imagine. It looks like it's. It's still it's it's hard to punish. Hard to punish. Yeah. yeah. You have to be it's ready. It's always for been it. yeah, 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 absolutely. It's not like EX green hand. Yeah, oh no. No, no, no. You got to be on point. All right, so Jeff is kind of oh, crouch fierce to do anti air, I guess. I've never seen him use crouch fierce. I think he didn't think he was in the air. I've so, seen him use it as a on the ground. I've never seen him use it as an anti air. Yeah, that was weird. I wonder if it's like secretly a buff cuz they they give some people some secret buffs. Well, one of the changes to Guy that's really weird is that his stand light kick is an anti-air now. Right. Which is really goofy, because why would you ever want to risk a light normal for an anti-air to hit them for 30 damage when they can hit you for potentially 300? That's well, you could just so do roundhouse, risky. right? Is yeah. it better for cross-ups or something? I don't know. It looks reliable, but I don't know. It just seems like it's too risky. I mean, that's the funny thing about these things. Like, when you see the videos... It I almost want to feel like, is Combo Fiend laughing at us when he's like, and look what we just did for Guy. And it's like, why would you show the light kick and not the roundhouse? The roundhouse is so much better now, so why was that from missing from the video? But light kick is in the video. I think it's just, it's kind of weird that they didn't involve all the changes in all the videos. Oh, get that. And that's going to kill him. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Never mind, it killed him. <laughs> that was pretty dope. Red folks combo. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing that to me when we were practicing. He told me, uh, I think, full meter, everything, it's like 650 or something stupid. What? Yeah, something stupid. It's like really high. I thought oh, he was going to recover in time. It's from like a neutral headbutt. You'd give like... Oh, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something stupid. I'll punch that, yes. But it's an amazing and very easy to do hit confirm. All red focus combos are super easy to do. Yep. Trying to keep him in the corner. Nice. And he's gonna mix up. Maybe maybe he has to throw out light kick. Because SF Geef, sorry, Brassman is just whiffing, whip punishing all these stand medium kicks. Yeah. Which is guys normal. That's what <laughs> he should be using. Yeah, and he's making it seem like it's a liability. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. 
And that's Guy's best normal, straight up. It's a great normal, but he makes him afraid to use it. Yeah. You know what's crazy? You see how he almost has three meters, but the guy has like a 70% life lead? It doesn't mean Zangief is going to lose. No. Because he's almost got three bars. Look at this. He's, he somehow got out of the corner. Yeah. Look at that. How on earth did this man get out of the corner? Oh, okay. Now, now but, I don't I know. I mean, I think you would sacrifice some taking off some more life for that corner at this point. He can't chip him out with shoulder I mean, yet. he's going to be in the corner soon. But he can't kill him. Oh, okay. If he lands Ultra, it doesn't matter. I'm running out of time now. He can literally sit there and get SPD and not, not die. Yeah. Should try build meter. Really good patience by Jeff, though. Not trying to close the round out. Just trying to, like, make his opponent desperate. There he goes. Using better spacing with that sand medium kick now. Oh, never mind. There you go. You really have to get in there with those type of normals against Sangi. Uh huh. In order to really make him useful, because he's just gonna whip punish you. Especially, especially a Zangief that plays like like grass. Yes. That's what he looks for. Oh, he loves it. And if he gets the life lead like this, this is where he's he is is best. Yeah, look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm in the corner. I don't yeah. care. Oh, oh, well, that was kind of bad. Doesn't matter. He's still attacking me. That's good. Oh man. Oh, nice oh, punish. Oh no. We just talked about how easy that is to punish. Yeah. Oh, back dash scoop. He oh, can man. still make a Basically, comeback, though. Basically, any, any stand short green hand will go into... Oh, we missed the combo. Yeah. We'll go into red focus cancel. If he even lives. It's over. Yeah. That was good stuff. Unfortunately, G Dragon just missed that missed that huge punish opportunity that kind of dropped him in the game.